Hey, how's it going? So I want to take a short break from real estate and I want to talk to something that I think is related and that's a couple aspects of crypto specifically in the Ethereum ecosystem. We're talking about airdrops, we're talking about Uniswap trading bots, and we're going to talk about removing liquidity with Uniswap. But why are we going to talk about these things uh, when I usually talk about real estate? And one of the big reasons is because with quantitative easing, we had a ton of liquidity injected into the system. We had these expansionist fiscal policy that created a rise in a lot of different asset values. We're starting to see the inflation that we're trying to control, you know, at this point here in summer of 2023. But what happened with all this quantitative easing? What happened when all this capital was injected into maybe not capital, but all this money was injected into the system? So anytime we have an expansionist fiscal policy, the rate of the inflationary risks are largely dependent on if that money turns into productive capital or not. And we have a high risk anytime that a ton of liquidity is injected and that going into non-productive goods and being misallocated. And so I would argue that one of the big misallocations that we saw among others would be the huge rise in the values of cryptocurrency. A lot of that liquidity went into cryptocurrency created huge rises in the prices of, of cryptocurrencies. And now we're seeing um, as that gets constricted, the values of the cryptocurrencies coming back down, we're starting to see bank collapses. And as these banks collapse, people are gravitating towards alternative things like cryptocurrencies in some cases to try to protect their assets. So we also saw a lot of this capital get injected into real estate. People that previously couldn't get loans are getting huge commercial loans. Um, pretty much everybody knows somebody who's able to buy apartment complexes, commercial buildings, things that necessarily weren't accessible to them pre-pandemic that are now readily accessible with all the capital that's available in the system. So let's pivot back and let's talk about some uh, crypto concepts. So one is airdrops. So Arbitrum airdrops are something that's a huge trending topic right now and, and why. And I think as people see their crypto holdings um, decreasing, they're increasingly attracted to these uh, layer two scaling platforms that are giving, uh, that are they're scaling up and reducing transaction costs. Additionally, uh, having, having these tokens distributed to them. So, our Bitrum airdrops involve distributing tokens to individuals who have used Uniswap, decentralized exchange protocol, and conducted transactions on the Ethereum network. Primary purpose of such airdrops is to incentivize users to adopt and utilize new platforms or protocols. So naturally, we had a huge fiscal expansion. All this money was injected in the system. Things became super popular. And now, uh, how do you get people to get back involved in a platform that's declining or something that's apparently losing value or may appear to be losing values? Well, dropping airdrops, getting people back involved is one good way to um, get people back involved. Next, um, I want to talk about Uniswap trading bots a little bit. So why why would Uniswap trading bots be uh, important? I'm just going to read a little uh, piece here. Uniswap trading bots. Uniswap is a decentralized exchange protocol built on the Ethereum blockchain, allowing users to trade ERC20 tokens directly from their wallets. Trading bots are automated software programs that execute trades based on predefined strategies or algorithms. In the context of Uniswap, trading bots can be used to automate trading strategies such as market making, arbitrage, or liquidity provision. Last part in there, liquidity provision. That's what all of this is essentially about right now. So as people are, are seeing their holding values decline, apparently, as um, the Fed starts implementing more um, tightening policies, we're starting to see banks collapse. Um, so people are looking for ways to maximize their returns and try to create some more value out of their declining crypto portfolios. So um, <clears throat> market making and arbitrage, you know, market making being uh, a big way to try to force value into the system and then liquidity provisions trying to um, milk out what, what they can in an otherwise uh, declining platform. <clears throat> um, and then lastly, let's talk about uh, removing liquidity 
uh, from Uniswap. So Uniswap relies on liquidity pools provided by users to facilitate training. Liquidity providers lock their funds in these pools, earning fees in return for their contributions. Removing liquidity refers to the act of withdrawing funds from the liquidity pools. So this has huge imp implications in the cryptocurrency ecosystem because based on those pools of liquidity that are available are going to create stability within the platform. However, as you remove the uh, liquidity from the platform, it's inherently creating more instability. So as we saw a lot of incentives, um, especially about a year ago for people to pool money now as those locks are coming off the, you know, the the time amount that people had to lock their crypto into these pools. Now, people are increasingly look to pull their liquidity back out of these pools that were holding some kind of stability in the cryptocurrency ecosystem. And now people are removing that money, uh, creating more instability in the uh, ecosystems. So while at first glance, some of these uh, concepts like um, some of the concepts of like airdrop, new swap training bots, new swap liquidity coming from the system may not directly sound like they're related to real estate, but they have a huge implications in real estate because they're about capital allocation. And real estate investing is largely about capital allocation. So as people have choices in where they allocate their capital, um, as people pivot to or from, um, ecosystems such as cryptocurrency, the Ethereum ecosystem in this case, to and from real estate, where they choose to allocate their capital is gonna push value, push prices um, in those areas. And um, so I just wanted to dig into these three concepts a little bit more. Hope you liked it. Drop a comment down below and um, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. See you.